everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to continue on with our Kiwi uh, work. So, okay, um, we need to do something that we have not done yet. We need to work with an editor. So, I'm just going to use an editor, and it's not a feel free to experiment. There are several out there. Um, this is just the one that I think would be easiest to migrate for us. So we're going to use PyCharm. So if you do not have PyCharm, just go ahead and go download it. Uh, just be careful. There is, uh, I think there's now an e uh, EUD for uh, education, or I guess it may be AD EDU. Uh, then there's community and there's professional. So um, just go grab the community. So all right. We are just going to jump right in, and it's uh, we're going to name our uh, project my app, and we're just going to go ahead and let uh, PyCharm do its thing and get started. So this is super important. If you are new here, thanks for joining us. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have videos coming out all the time and we build one upon the other. So all right, the real reason why I like this so much is you're gonna see in a minute, uh, we're just gonna take the file and dump it in, but the reason why we need to move to an editor is we're to the point with Kiwi that Kiwi needs another file. So we could, we could hardwire this, but it's not true to what Kiwi truly is because Kiwi is its own language in and of itself and it runs um, in parallel with Python so what you'll see very soon and I broached broached at it all right so here we are we are ready so this is what this is what I was talking about so all right we have this and just go ahead and open up your folder where your Python is. And this is what I love about it. You just go here, grab your file that we have created, and literally just drop it. And it does everything for us. So as you can see here, this is where we left off. And then also we're going to, all right, Last time we ran this from Python and we ran our uh, F5 and we ran it. So now, now we need to do this the proper way. So python.myapp.py. All right. So it's going to run and here we are. Ta da. Where we left off last time. It's okay. Let's close this, shrink this, we're done with that. So now what we need to do is we need to, let's go to the corner. Okay, what we need to do is now we need to add a KV file. And it is .kv. And I just named the file so it wouldn't be anything complicated, but the obligation for the KV file is it is the um, the name of your main object, your app object, drop the app all in lowercase. So now that I said it, now I'm going to show it to you. And we need to find our library root. So this is our right here that the end of new new file and it's my.kv. So now this is why we need to have an editor. So we can go back and when we get very complicated, we have multiple 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 files open. So okay, we're going to keep this real simple today because we've already we got a lot going on here. So we're just going to do the simplest of simple widgets and we're going to dig more into this 
next time. So label, this is our this is gonna be our root widget. One, two, three, four, text, and just like everything else in the Python world, hello world. Come up here, save all, open back up. Now, if I haven't told you this yet, you hit the up arrow key and it'll bring up your last your last instruction. Run this. Boom. You just made your first root widget and we're going to dig more into it and this file isn't 100% accurate. I just wanted you to get one under your belt, create a Kiwi file, understand the rules and the obligation of what the Kiwi file has to be. So this is also why I have it side by side. So it's name of the your your app object minus the app all lowercase. Cool. All right. So there we go. Real quick, real quick subject. Your first Kiwi file. I think that's what we're gonna name this um, video today. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments, questions, or any video requests below. So if, if I've gone too fast on this, because I know this is going to get real complicated really quickly, but we're going to do bite size. Love that comment. I, what I love is most of the things in the way that I refer to them is comments from you guys. So awesome comments, really nice support over the past couple weeks. So thank you. So please leave any comments, questions, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.